Steve McDetmer said, you the man, thanks for not spilling the goods on Brandon Ayuk. So that was, uh, he was thanking you for not uh, <laughs> pumping him up too much. Uh, and Timo uh, Buker says, uh, what did your boy Kyle love about Ayuk? And I did think that was interesting because Ayuk was a guy that you mentioned, I think, when you were talking with Paul about right. your favorite wide receivers in the draft. And I know you probably talked to to Kyle about the wide receivers. And so he didn't spill, spill the beans that they were super high. According to some reports, the number one wide, wide receiver on their board. No, no, he, he did. He spilled the beans to me. I, I knew it all along. I did. Um, you know, and I'm not going to lie. You know, I didn't see it quite as strongly as Shanahan or Lynch. I liked Ayu. I'm not going to say that I thought he was like tied for the number one or number two receiver in the draft. I'll disagree there. But I will say this. My man Kyle Shanahan is about as good as I've ever seen as far as evaluating wide receivers. He really is. He's been with a lot of great ones. He's drafted some really good ones. He's an ex-receiver himself who was obsessed with the position and learned how to run routes from Ed McCaffrey and Rod Smith in Denver. So he's really nuanced there. That's his niche. And when he talks receivers, I always listen and perk up. And I knew he was on the radar for the 49ers in a big-time way. Listen, when Kyle Shanahan told me, man, I think this guy's Isaac Bruce, then, you know, and we had a conversation of would people think I'm crazy if I took Brandon Ayuk at 13? And I said, you know, some might, but because of your track record and if you say a statement like I think he could be Isaac Bruce, that'll shut people up in a hurry. So, yeah, I tried certainly to be a good friend and not connect or show any connection and dots there between Ayuk and the 49ers. But uh, I think what Kyle liked about him is, you know, there's certain things he looks in route running to go, not that he has to see every route, but there's little mechanical things he has a really good eye for to see in the feet, the hips, certain body positions that guys are capable and not capable of getting their bodies in to be good route runners with certain different routes. And I think he saw that Ayuk was very smooth that way let alone he's got speed to be over the top. He's got amazing hands. Shanahan's very into wide receivers who can rip the ball out of the air and not lose any speed when the ball's thrown accurately. Like you saw with Debo Samuel last year. How many times did you see Debo Samuel running over the middle, rip the ball out of the air and running like a bat out of hell, right? Like, like no throttle or anything. Just zoom. He loves that. And I think what Shanahan also likes is you're not going to be able to pin Debo or Ayuk to certain roles on that offense. You know, they're both going to be able to run speed sweep to reverse. They're both going to be able to run over the middle. They both can beat you over the top that way. I think Ayuk a little bit more than Debo, but uh, it was an awesome pick by Shanahan. I mean, they, they killed it in the draft. They're the best three-person draft ever when I say that. I know they drafted more, but to get Ayuk, Kinlaw, and then trade for Trent Williams on the second day of the draft, I mean, as far as three big moves, I don't know if there was three bigger moves in the draft than the 49ers and what they did. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.